हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड आफ्टरनून हवा यू आई होप यू आर लर्न सेफ एट होम सो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू अवर आईटी सेक्शन स्टैंडर्ड फोर्थ चैप्टर नाइन अल्गोरिदम एंड फ्लो चार्ट्स स्टूडेंट्स डू यू नो वेन समवन बिल्ड अ हाउस Before construction, he makes a planning paper. It helps modify the ideas for construction. If you do not do so, then after construction, it may waste the money. If we construct any portion, it takes time and effort. To save the time and efforts, we use. techniques is known as algorithms and flow charts any task that can be carried out systematically using a process step by step method can be performed by a computer and we need algorithm and flow chart by defining those step for doing a particular task a computer program a computer program is a set of instructions given step by step to a computer the computer then executes the instructions following each step mechanically to get the desired result algorithms and flow charts are the two important methods to understand the computer programming algorithm an algorithm is a finite sequence of instructions or a step by step procedure for solving a problem algorithm is a group of steps to solve any particular problem written in simple english algorithm is nothing but dividing a particular task into steps these are written to achieve a desired result or perform a particular task a computer program is an algorithm written for a computer in a special programming language next is a, a flow chart a flow chart is a common type of chart that represents an algorithm or process showing the steps as boxes of various kinds and their order by connecting these with arrows flow charts are used in analyzing designing documenting or managing a process or programs in various fields let's say that you need to book an air ticket to delhi here are three different algorithms that you might follow to book a ticket first the travel agent algorithm first you call up your travel agent second give details of your day and time of departure and arrival and third give details of payment mode second system is the personal secretary algorithm first you ask your secretary to book your ticket through the travel agent second you give him the details of travel day and time and third give him details of payment mode next system is the e ticket algorithm first you connect to the internet second fill the form to book the ticket personally and third print the e ticket all three of these algorithms 
com- accomplish exactly the same goal but each algorithm does it in a completely different way so the steps to solve a problem is called the algorithm these techniques of solving a problem makes programming easy next is a flow chart a flow chart is a graphical representation of an algorithm the states written in an algorithm can be represented in a flow chart there are a special symbols which are used for drawing a flow chart the symbols and their uses as below five symbols explain in detail first symbol name is terminal box it used it is used for the terminal box is oval in shape it is a start or stop point in process second output box it is used for the output box is like a parallelogram in shape it indicates data inputs and outputs to and from a process third process box it is used for process box is a rectangular in shape and the actions or steps involving a process is written inside this box fourth connector it is used for connector is is circular in shape it is used to connect statements situated at different places in the program it is used as a jump from one point to another fifth flow lines flow lines are like connectors which connect two boxes and determine the flow or sequence of the instructions using process and sixth decision box decision box is a diamond in shape this is used for a question or branch in process okay so now draw a flow chart in your notebook first prepare apple juice for guest first cut the apples then second put the apples in the juicer third turn the juicer on and fourth strain the juice next is a decorate the room for a birthday party first buy the material for decorations second clean the room third blow the balloons and fourth stick the balloons and ribbons on the wall next to grow fenugreek in a small pot first buy the seeds mud and the pot from the market second put the mud in the pot third put the seeds inside the mud in the pot and fourth place the pot outdoors in the sunlight next is to make a cheese sandwich first apply butter on two slices of bread second grate the cheese third put grated cheese on one slice of bread and fourth cover this bread with another slice of bread next is a to make a school project first buy all the materials required for the project second 
cut the pictures and stick them third write the content and fourth decorate the front cover thus a flow chart always helps to perform a particular task in the correct sequential order more accurately students everyone understood this chapter algorithm and flow chart so now tell me flow chart to make the soul project yes first is a buy all the materials required for the project second cut the pictures and stick them third write the content and fourth decorate the front cover very good so students i hope everyone have understood this chapter algorithm and flow charts thank you stay home stay safe